Hey guys, out here in the driveway again today working in the cold. The main thing I want to accomplish today is getting this box off so I can do the final repair here. And since taking boxes off trucks is a fairly uh, universal thing, they're all fairly similar, I thought I'd show you guys because, you know, you might need to take a box off one day. My plan is to get the bolts out and move the box back enough to do this work by myself, so that should be kind of interesting. <laughs> Besides the actual bolts holding the box to the frame, there's going to be uh, fuel hoses you're going to have to undo because that goes from fuel tank to uh, the box, the fuel door. Usually there's going to be some sort of wiring that goes to your bumper or your tail lights. That will have to come undone. There's actually a ground here, usually just a connector so you can actually remove the box without cutting stuff. But lots of times people have spliced and hacked stuff in. Over here you can see I got the uh, extendo uh, ratchet on the uh, box bolt here. For this truck it's at 18 millimeter and there's eight of them. You can just look for the uh, supports underneath the box here to know where they're gonna be. Normally taking a box off is pretty simple but I plan to do this all by myself. So uh, yeah, I kind of have a unique idea of how I'm gonna slide this back and I'm not sure if it's gonna work but uh, we're gonna find out. One thing you can do here to make this easier is use leverage. So I've got this big uh, jack handle I'm going to put on the end of the ratchet. And it should be pretty easy to spin these out. Hopefully they don't break. I don't know, this one's feeling pretty crunchy already. I was really afraid that these were going to be rusty and break and then I wouldn't be able to get the box back on without doing a bunch of fab work, so hopefully that's not the case. Even a quarter of the way out still helps to have the leverage of the handle. I don't know if an impact would even be able to get it at this point. Well, there's one. Threads actually don't look too bad. Got all eight of the box bolts out, luckily no snapping. The bracing underneath didn't seem to be too rusty, so should be good there. I'm just gonna unbolt the filler neck from the box here and hopefully be able to like bend it underneath and out as I pull the box back. After I unbolt that, there's a ground under there I have to undo as well. And if you're doing this for yourself, you just wanna go around underneath, make sure there's no other wiring, grounds especially connected, so you're not tearing stuff apart when you go to lift it off. Snap the first bolt of the day, wasn't expecting that one. It's this one here just snapped. Uh, if you're doing this on a truck like this, this plastic thing, I've got it popped up already, but you basically pry it up and then do this and then it comes out. It's one of those. So far, this is basically the hardest part. Uh, these rubber lines on the gas filler neck here are hard to get off and there's not a lot of room to move it around in there and I don't want to break anything. So yeah, I'm having some troubles with this. I might try to take that plastic thing off where the, uh, gas cap is just so I can get some more room to move it around. It's just held on by these three little bolts here. I think they're what, seven millimeter? So that's definitely a bit of a hassle to get out of the way, but uh, I recommend taking off that little plastic piece. Once I did that, I can move it around a bunch more, and that helped a lot. Hey, look at that, the gas cap fits right in there. What's up, subscribers? It is now the next day. I went inside uh, to change GoPro batteries and eat last night, and then got all full and lazy, and it was dark, so. Here we are again. I've got the uh, replacement piece just kind of jammed on there. It's a really tight fit. I might have to cut some more away from here to make it work. But anyways, the box. Uh, at this point, if you're just gonna pull it, you'd get your buddies to come over and lift it off. It's loose on here now. I've got it pushed over. Rob thought maybe I could uh, push it over to get it to repair here, but I don't think that's gonna work out. It ends up just kind of hitting on the bumper right here. My original plan was to take off the wheels and tires and then be able to slide this back once I got this section over the bumper 
but kind of lifting it myself and feeling it, I don't know, it feels like pretty sketchy and rusty. So I think I would need a bunch of guys for that to work to keep it from twisting and possibly ruining the bodywork that I just did on the sides. So unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to pull off the bumper, which uh, is gonna be some more rusty bolts. Looks like three per side, one here, and then one there, and one there. I started making some cuts here just so the piece fits better, and I'm gonna see what I'm able to get at here. If I can weld it up here and into there a bit, and then on the inside seam here, that should be good enough, and I might be able to get away with just having the box like this. So this has turned into a how to almost remove your box tutorial. After cutting out some more junk, this uh, replacement piece fits a bit nicer. It'll definitely take some more beating on it and maybe a few more cuts on pieces behind it to make it fit perfect. Uh, but right now I'm not sure what to do next because I want to have room to do this right, but I don't have a lot of time and the bumper is going to be really hard to take off myself. And then I got to make a replacement piece for this uh, rocker that's all cut out here out of this piece of hood which means I have to cut off all this inner bracing without warping it too badly, hopefully. And I gotta finish editing this video and render it and post it for you guys. So I think I'm just gonna do that now and end the video here. This has been your tutorial on how to remove a box. You pretty much saw all the stuff I'm gonna do here in previous videos already. Rust repair complete on black truck, basically. I'll take some clips of what I end up accomplishing here and put it in a upcoming video, but I gotta get this done and get to SPP Wednesday so I can shoot the six liter being taken apart for you guys. So as always, like, share, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.